Oh? What are you doing, sleeping on this bench? You know, you'll catch a cold out here, and you're not dressed for the weather. Here, take my coat before you turn into an icicle. Don't bother complaining about giving you my coat. I was getting warm anyways from the stroll I was on before I saw you here. I might as well cool off and give you some warmth while I'm at it. Although, I don't really understand why you're so... underdressed. You know, nights here in the city can get freezing cold. But then, you're not from here, are you? You don't dress like you're from here, at least. So what's your story, huh? Anything? <sighs> well, I guess that doesn't really matter now, does it? I don't really need to know your life story, nor do I really care to hear it. What's important is that you're here now. Ah, but aren't you lonely? Sitting alone on a bench outside of a convenience store can't be your idea of fun, right? At least if you got some snacks from inside there, you could have a little picnic at one of the store's tables. But, ah, I guess a picnic isn't really fun without friends, huh? If you're new in town, I suppose you don't really have any friends, huh? Must be tough for you to be all alone in a huge place like this, just wandering around trying to find some way to dig in your roots. Here, let me sit by you. <sighs> wow. <laughs> this bench is really uncomfortable. I can't believe you were sleeping on it. Didn't you feel any sort of pain from this wood? It's chipped all over and gives absolutely no back support. <sighs> well, I guess if it worked for you, then it's fine. Still though, it's not really fair for me to ask you that if you've never known anything different. I guess the best course of action would be to teach you about the comforts of life. Wouldn't you like that? A chance to sit on a cushy couch instead of this old bench? Instead of being out here in the cold, wouldn't you rather enjoy central heating inside a nice apartment with a view of the skyline from the window? In a nice steaming bowl of rice, a fried pork cutlet on top would be nice too. And finally, wouldn't you enjoy a companion? Someone to fall asleep with at night, someone who you can tangle your legs with under the covers, so that when you wake up in the morning, you can't figure out your limbs from theirs. Someone to eat breakfast with on the terrace, toast with jam, with a cool breeze, cups of coffee or whatever warm drink you'd like. You don't necessarily look like the coffee type, a little too refined for your taste. <laughs> Someone to say goodbye to, and someone to say I'm home to when you get back from work. <laughs> Unless... Do you not have a job, either? I suppose it's only fair, if you have no friends here and don't even have enough cash to buy a small bowl of ramen from the convenience store, I doubt you could have a well-paying job. Well, I could help you out. If you were interested, I could teach you all about how we live here. Think of it as one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Except you would get way more than just knowledge. Knowledge is fine and dandy, but it doesn't hold a candle to having a good life. 
can provide you with everything you need to have a good life if you'd like. Your very own apartment, fully stocked with food and ingredients in your fridge and pantries, as well as a fully functional kitchen. A warm bed, a closet full of clothes suited to your tastes, and a fully furnished living space. A shower with running hot water and an in-unit washer and dryer, a TV and DVR connected to cable, and a paycheck. A pretty good one, too, if you're hardworking and loyal. You'd be working with me. You'd be an assistant of sorts. I won't be there all of the time, but I'll introduce you to the rest of your teammates so that you guys can become friends. And when our schedules match up, maybe we can spend the night together. We could get a group together and have a work outing. Have you ever been to a work outing? They're really fun. It's the time when you really get to know your coworkers, where everyone finally releases all their stressors from the long work day and indulge themselves on good food and strong liquor. And of course, there are usually games involved too. Not only do you get a hot meal and cold drinks, but you get to spend all night partying with your coworkers. I think you would enjoy it. It'd definitely be a step up from what you have going on right now. Several steps up from this, really. Just so you know, though, I don't offer gifts like this for free. Think of this as a transaction of sorts. Although between the two of us, you're definitely getting a better deal in this transaction. A cozy home, fresh food, friendship. All I want in return is to use some of your power. You're pretty strong, aren't you? I've come across many people like you, and yet, you're special. I want to see how much we can do with this power of yours. And... Of course, I expect you to listen to my commands. Since I'm gracious enough to grant you a whole new life, I expect you to be loyal to me. That seems only fair, doesn't it? When I say come, you'll come. When I say go, you'll go. And when I say heal, you'll heal. You'll make a perfect guard dog. What do you say? Will you be my faithful pup? To be honest, I already know you'll say yes. With the dreary situation you're in, you would be foolish to turn down such a perfect offer. Although, I have met many fools in the city already. But I know you a little better now, after this time we spent out here together. And now that you've devoted yourself to being my little pup, I'm excited to get to know you even more. And, if you like, you can get to know me better, too. After all, a good dog deserves a treat. So, once you've been a good and loyal pet for long enough, feel free to sniff me out and cash in your prize. I'll give you anything your heart desires, so long as you give me what I desire as well. That seems like a fair deal to me. <laughs> You're funny. I like watching your expressions change. Your face is so dynamic. You look like a cartoon character from one of the shows I used to watch as a kid. You're so red. It looks like steam is about to come out of your ears. Why are you blushing so much, pup? Do you get embarrassed when I call you my dog or my little pet? Unless I'm mistaken. Then, is this excitement? Maybe it's the fact that you're so excited to start proving your loyalty to me that your face is flushed. Oh, that's exactly correct. I can tell from the way you can't meet my eyes right now. That's adorable. You're adorable. <laughs> I guess it won't hurt to start rewarding good behavior now. Stand. Heal. Good pup. I'm a little famished. 
I could really go for a bite to eat, couldn't you? Uh-uh. Quiet. No bark. Not every question requires an answer, pup. Hmm. Should I really be giving out treats so early in the training process? Hmm. Oh well, I suppose it won't hurt to give you a taste of the life that you'll be living from here on out. That way, you'll know what you're fighting for. Come, doggy. Let's go get some food. Say, have you ever had katsu curry before?